Hello, and welcome to JXJ Aviation. In this video, we look at the types of airspeeds. First, let's understand how is airspeed measured in an aircraft. The airspeed of an aircraft is displayed on an airspeed indicator. This is one of the six basic instruments in an aircraft. This instrument uses the pedostatic system to collect the pedal pressure and the static pressure. The pitot pressure, or impact pressure, increases when an aircraft moves forward. The static pressure is the pressure of the undisturbed air around an aircraft. The airspeed indicator measures the difference between the static pressure and the pitot pressure. This difference moves a pointer on a scale which indicates the airspeed of the aircraft. Let's look at the different types of airspeeds. Types of airspeeds Indicated airspeed The speed which is directly obtained from the airspeed indicator is called the indicated airspeed. This airspeed is not corrected for variations in density, installation error, or instrument error. This speed is used by manufacturers for determining aircraft performance. Calibrated airspeed Indicated airspeed, corrected for installation error and instrument error, is calibrated airspeed. The airspeed error is greatest at low airspeeds. The errors are also significantly high when the flaps are extended. At cruise speeds or higher airspeeds, the calibrated airspeed and the indicated airspeed are approximately same. True airspeed Calibrated airspeed, corrected for altitude and non-standard temperature, is true airspeed. The air density decreases with an increase in altitude. The pitot pressure reduces since less air enters the pitot probe. For a constant calibrated airspeed, as the altitude increases, the true airspeed increases. There are two methods to find the true airspeed. First method, flight computer. The flight computer corrects the calibrated airspeed for temperature and pressure variations. These values may need to be entered and the computer will compute the true airspeed. Second method, rule of thumb. This gives an approximate true airspeed value. In this method, for every 1,000 feet of altitude, 2% is to be added to the calibrated airspeed. Ground speed. The true airspeed adjusted for winds is the ground speed. This is the actual speed of an airplane over the ground. If there are headwinds, the ground speed decreases. And if there are tailwinds, the ground speed increases. Mach number Mach number is the ratio of aircraft's true airspeed to the local speed of sound. The Mach number changes with atmospheric conditions, air temperature, and density. This is important for aircraft flying at high speeds. That's all for this video on the types of airspeeds. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please share and subscribe.